So in this video, we're going to see that uh, the height of a Fibonacci heap can be linear. So this is in contrast to what happened in the case of binary heaps and binomial heaps. So where the height of the trees were always order log n. So we could do uh, bottom of PP5 uh, very efficiently. So uh, we're going to give a sequence of uh, uh, decrease key, add and delete mean operations uh, in each iteration so that when you do a sequence of uh, these operations, the height of the uh, tree, uh, tree can be increased by one. So see if you repeat this uh, n number of times, uh, then the height of the tree will be order n. Let's look at a specific example and create a sequence of uh, order n number of uh, Fibonacci heap operations so that we'll end up with a uh, Fibonacci heap whose uh, height is linear. So let's take uh, the numbers, uh, yeah, let's say add n, uh, n minus 1 and uh, uh, n minus 2. So these three numbers are added, uh, so there will be a linked list connecting all this. Now the minimum element is n minus 2. So let's call the uh, delete mean. So if we want to delete this, this will be deleted. After this is deleted, there is a consolidation happening. When the consolidation happens, uh, uh, so the uh, n will be merged with a uh, n minus 1. So you get this tree as uh, n minus 1 and n. Now we can again add uh, n minus 2. So when you add n minus 2, a new node n minus 2 is created. Then you can add uh, n minus 3. And then you can also add uh, n minus 4. Right, so I added n minus 2, n minus 3, and uh, n minus 4 in this iteration. Now I the minimum is n minus 4. So we want to delete this. So when I delete this, uh, so when the consolidation happens, n minus 3 is the uh, is will become the root n minus 3, and this will be merged with uh, n minus 3 will be merged with uh, n minus 2, and there is another tree with the rank 1 which is uh, n minus 1 and n. So this will become uh, this tree will become the left child of uh, n minus 1 uh, n because n minus 3 is smaller than n minus 1. So the height of this tree now has increased by 1. So we will do a sequence of operations so that in this iteration the height of the tree again increases by 1. So what I do is that I decrease the value of n minus 2 to let's say n minus 4. When I decrease this value of n minus 2 to n minus 4, so this will be deleted. So this will be added to the root list with value n minus 4. Now again I can add um, n minus 2 and then again add uh, n minus 5. So now I can delete this node. When I do, uh, delete this node, n minus 4 actually becomes the root, uh, n minus 2 actually becomes the child of it. But uh, this is also a, um, a Fibonacci heap with rank 1. And there's already another Fibonacci heap with rank 1. So the both will be merged. So the tree that we are going to get will be, uh, so n minus uh, 4 will be at the root. One child of this is uh, n minus 2. And the other child of this is n minus 3 whose child is n minus 1 and uh, the other child of this is n. So we had a Fibonacci heap of height 3 here, um, height 2. So the height is uh, 0, 1 and 2. So the height of this is 2. By doing a few operations, so we could create an height, um, a Fibonacci heap of height 3. So what we did is that we called a decrease key function, uh, decrease key uh, function. After that, uh, we we added uh, two numbers we essentially added two numbers and then you again call the uh, delete me so right so in each iteration what we do is that we uh, call uh, uh, one decrease key to add operations and one delete main uh, so when you keep doing this in every iteration the height of the tree uh, increases by one so if you repeat this uh, order n number of times you will be left with a fibrachi heap of a uh, height order n